Good morning, Daniel. <laughs> I said that to your face, but your face disappeared with a conspicuous quickness today. You know, I woke to the sound of your V8 growling out of the garage. <laughs> Late in and early out as is becoming your huge. And as per my huge, here I am in the kitchen. Oh, look, I'm, I'm putting away your milk that you left out. And maybe I'll load the dishes from your midnight fridge rage into the dishwasher. You know, after nearly eight months, eight, right, of living with you, it finally occurred to me that you probably don't know the secret password that opens the dishwasher. <laughs> it's this fucking guy. <laughs> Works every time I say it, you know. Anyway, I was hoping you would come upstairs when you got home last night so I could talk to you about some things that have been weighing on me lately. But I'm guessing you got in too late, so you're too tired to navigate the stairs, or perhaps you were worried about waking me. And so you came into the living room and undressed. Oh, yeah. Big clothes. Hi. <sighs> you slept on this sofa. <laughs> Interesting. You must have used the guest bath to shower this morning. Yeah, I know you shaved in there. And you remember when I told you that part of why I don't shave is so I don't have to clean up all the little, little hairs? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Was that too subtle of a hint? I suppose. Anyway, since we seem to keep missing each other, I thought I'd go ahead and record a few thoughts. <laughs> I thought about writing them down, sticking them on the fridge, where I know you would see them. But, ah, uh, lass. Every single pet I brought into this house seems to have vanished. Perhaps eaten by your messenger bag. Perhaps buried under your proliferating cables that don't seem to serve any function other than clutter my workspace. What is this? Who can say for sure? So I settled on a video that I can send you so you can listen and process in your own time. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thought number one, I understand that as a white man, you are descended from conquerors and colonizers, but that does not mean you have to manifest your destiny all over the house you share with someone. This is a 3,000 square foot townhouse, not an exotic country, rich with skills and spices. You don't have to plant a proverbial flag on every horizontal surface in the joint, yeah? Yeah? Because there's no shortage of storage space here. I mean, lots of drawers and cubbies and baskets and boxes to keep your shit contained. Please. Please. <laughs> oh, oh. Thought number two. For the last four weeks, you, my boyfriend of mine, has spent exactly 11 hours and 36 minutes awake in my presence. To put that in perspective, I, I, I have spent 12 hours and 20 minutes cleaning up after you in that same window of time. 14 hours if you count the time spent rewashing the load of laundry you left mildewing in the washer. Every time? Essentially, I have spent more time with your mess. What is this? I spend more time with this mess than I have with you, which is, philosophically speaking, the very definition of a terrible relationship. Which brings me to talk. Which brings me to thought number three. I want out. No, 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 not of this house, mind you. Hello. <laughs> this house is mine. You can stay in the guest room or keep sleeping on the sofa until you find yourself a place you can afford. You certainly can't afford this one on your own. I'm sure you'll agree that it's always been more my project than yours. But you'll have to find someone else to handle the project that is you. I'm afraid, which judging from the amount of time you spend outside this house, and the glitter on that shirt I found on the floor, maybe you already have. Okay, I'm imagining a, a pasty twig named Dylan. Oh, he probably thinks that prep pills should come all chewable and strawberry flavored, right? 
Perhaps will this perhaps this will be a relief to you, yeah. Not having to tiptoe around me, not having to worry about waking me up. Hmm? Don't worry, Daniel. I'm already wide awake.